everyone. My name is Han Jung. I'm an independent curator and writer based in Korea. I want to thank you for joining this virtual guide tour of the exhibition Recollecting After Images, Portrait of Survivors. In honor to work with KCSB, the Korean Cultural Society of Boston for this exhibition, as well as the New Art Center at Newton in Massachusetts, and their BIPOC curatorial program, which offer the opportunity to create a space for communication of story of violence and conflict. The exhibition, Recollecting After Images, Portrait of Survivors, features works dealing with the life of violence survivors through self-portraits, both representational and non-representational. The exhibition consists of two parts. First, a virtual exhibition showcasing artworks of invited artists dealing with the survivors, including World War II and the Korean War. Secondly, a call for art at the New Art Center, Newton, which is on view until the end of August 2022. And as a third, we had a concert program playing Messian's Quartet that was showcased along with the digital projection of the virtual art exhibition. The concert was held on August 23rd on the Art Hall in Busan FEBC, a radio broadcaster in Korea. For this virtual event, I would like to give a short virtual guide tour of the exhibition at the gallery Sparshall. The theme of the exhibition was very much influenced by Susan Zonta, who wrote about war photography and its effect on people, saying in her book regarding the pain of others that photographs objectify, they turn an event or a person into something that can be possessed. Another inspiration was from the Jewish philosopher Martin Buber and his best known book, Ich und Du, I and Thou. Buber distinguishes two types of relations between people. In the I, it model, one relates to others as instruments of achievement. In the other, I, thou, one relates with the entirety of our being to another whole person. According to Buber, a true life requires a relationship of I and thou. His insight, which gives us a deep echo that we should experience and relate with another whole person, gave the perspective of how we should perceive the artworks created middle in the conflict and even during the war. Stressing out the self-portraitness of the painting contains the two hypotheses. First, every painter paints themselves. Second, painting the pain of others and mankind contains an initial understanding and compassion of our existence after violence. For part one, the work of Samuel Bach is at the opening of the exhibition. Born in Vilna, Poland in 1933, Bach is a Lithuanian American painter and writer who survived the Holocaust. His work weaves personal and historical memories together and constructs the 20th century ruination of Jewish life and culture, creating the image of a destroyed world that are partially repaired and went on to exist he questions the unspeakable atrocities of the Holocaust in a way he stubbornly observes human potential for reconciliation and reconstruction. The Family, a monumental piece with its size and content, was painted in 1974. Here we can see the portraits of people before and after the war gathered together as if taking a family photo. Among the many faces, we see the appearance of the three women standing in front of the easel. Contrasting with each other, one has eyes closed and the other has eyes open, but no pupils. The other one only has the silhouette remains, raising curiosity through the holes facing the back of the easel. Behind the scene, there is a continuous procession of Jews, which is reminiscent of a peak picture of Exodus in the Western painting tradition. Combining the Jewish history with his personal memories of the war with the format of this huge family photo, Beck wants to depict that all of humanity is a big family that has to deal with the same history. Kwon Sun Chal, he is a Korean painter who was born in Korea 
in 1944. He's a Korean war survivor who lost his brother and father during the war. Working on human figures and landscapes, he captures historical memories from the Japanese colonial period and the Korean War. The elderly faces depicted on canvas can be positioned on the border between figurative and abstract. He began making portrait series back in 1971 when he studied fine art at Seoul National University. Back then, he visited the train station or market to look for a grandfather line and their determined faces that overwhelms the surrounding. He has this question, what makes this 42 faces? And suggests that these are faces of Korean that represents the people who have lived through history, thus live their life with sincerity. Another Korean painting, Kwang Lee, who currently lives and works in Berlin, Germany, was born in 1970 in Korea. She combines Eastern philosophy with European abstract painting and explores existential questions like pain, death, and the human spirit, and experiments with vibrant colors and dynamic brush strokes on reflection of the truth behind appearance. The work participating in the exhibition is portraying the widow of a German soldier who died prematurely from an injury while serving as a soldier in World War II. In the image of a human being projected into the image of a lonely old woman living alone, it works on the collective unconscious that is suppressed in the face of a victim created by the era of violence. Kwang Lee mentioned that this face where the fear of death and the mystery of life coexist can be the face of hers and also an unspecified face in which the perpetrator and the victim are intertwined. It is the face and soul of a person who both gives and receives pain and stresses that one cannot be free from the faith of the social community. Bruce Herman is a Massachusetts-based artist, writer, and professor who has been teaching and curating exhibitions at Gordon College since 1984. Herman's artwork reflects his personal journey of creativity and faith, involving a profound understanding of Western history, philosophy, and culture. He started his large-scale religious narrative paintings in the late 1970s. In this exhibition, we can see his earlier and recent pieces. In both paintings, human figures are central, which evokes real presence as a means of genuine communication. These paintings reference the sacred worship tradition of the Christian Eucharist. For the show, we can see how sincerely he had explored the imagery of the cross and the agony of the survivor. The main room of the virtual gallery is dedicated to part one, and part two is located in the side galleries. These rooms resemble the actual offline gallery at New Art Corridor, where you can see the artworks until the end of August 2022. I would like to introduce a few of the artworks here. Eva Lee is a Massachusetts-based Korean artist. Her painting series, Touch and Healing, depicts victims' experience in violence and war as a portrait that combines a woman figure and nature. She is inspired by healing in the Bible, and the painting contains the story of a person's inner fear and anxiety, which is freed by the healing hands. The God's hand is a symbol of protection and healing in the Bible. For example, in Psalm 144, keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked, Protect me from men of violence who plan to trip my feet. Kathleen Wells' portraits are inspired by the photographs of Ukraine, Ukrainian fleeing the horrific Russian invasion. Among many photographs, she related to the image of mothers carrying their babies and found it especially wrenching. In the faces of these mothers, she saw both the horror of their present lives and the hope they carried in their arms for the future. 
Foxtel Jackson has Jamaican American background. He focuses on the theme that affects our community and shows the black experience in this society. His painting is a way to celebrate the lives of underrepresented individuals in which he created a world where these people can survive and find a way to be themselves while being free. Lisa Cohen is a Boston-based freelance photographer. Her family came to the United States in the early 1940 as refugees from World War II as stateless former Germans. Stories about her Jewish family escaping from Berlin are reflected in her mixed media photographic teen type series. These are in her photos, in her family photos before the escaping period. The children seem innocent and happy, living normal lives, not knowing what was to come. So this was a short virtual guide tour. Thank you all for listening and take part in this exhibition. Enormous thanks to the artists who participated in the show and for showing true empathy and the possibility of art that shines even in the darkest of time. The virtual exhibition is on view as partial. For more information, please refer to the description of this video. Thank you.